today is the divisional chart calculation right dasha calculation is very simple divisional chart calculation once again divisional chart calculation is also coded in softwares but still you have to know it first of all understand that parasher talks about 16 divisional charts and why i am taking an example of parasher because parasher have mentioned maximum divisional chart so there is one rashi that is a standard chart that you make the first chart that you make is rashi chart next chart is hora hora is known as d2 next chart is drekana that is known as d3 next chart is chaturthamsha that is known as d4 then panchamsa sashtamsha is not made in parashar so next chart is sap next chart is saptamsha that is d7 then ashtamsha is not made then is uh, the next chart navamsha that is d9 then dashamsha d10 <clears throat> ekadashamsha is not made then dwadashamsha is made that is d12 then shod shamsha is made that is d16 after shod shamsha vim shamsha is made that is d20 after vim shamsha chatur vim shamsha is made that is d24 then sapta vim shamsha is made that is d27 this sapta vim shamsha is also known as bhamsha bhamsha because bhams means nakshatra there are 27 nakshatras hence bhamsha and this dwadashamsha is also known as suryamsha or the division of sun because there are 12 different suns in the 12 different months of any year after sapta vim shamsha comes prim shamsha that is d30 after trimshamsha comes khavedamsha then comes khavedamsha that is d40 then comes aksha khavedamsha that is d45 and in the last comes sashtamsha that is d60 now these names that you see is a general method of writing names in sanskrit hora because there are two divisions and there are two horas it is known as hora the name of drekana is also having many secrets because drekana is not the word that you used to denote three leaving that aside every word leaving the hora and drekana aside every word is a sanskrit numeric four is known as chatur hence four the divisional chart is chaturthamsha seven is known as sap and the saptamsha 9 is known as nav and navamsha 10th is known as dasha as dashamsha 12 is known as now what is 12 you have to understand it so when you write it in sanskrit the value written first dwadashamsha so this is dwa dash amsha dwa means 2 dash means 10 2 more than 10 amsha the next comes show dashamsha show dashamsha 6 plus 10 vim shamsha vim means 20 chatur vim shamsha 4 plus 20 sapt vim shamsha 7 plus 20 trim shamsha 30 khavedamsha 40 aksh khavedamsha aksh is the value for 5 so 40 plus 5 and sashtamsha the value is 60 what is done the basic philosophy goes that when you have to make the second divisional chart you divide the rashi into two parts now one rashi is of 30 degree when you divide it into two parts it will be 1 degree 15 minutes each to calculate drekana every rashi is divided into three parts one rashi is of 10 degree when you divide it into three parts each will come 10 degrees each for chaturthamsha the rashi is divided into four portions 30 degree you divide into four it will be 7 degree 30 minutes each this is 7.5 is written because it is taking value as 100 but actually the value is 60 to create saptamsha 30 degrees of rashi is divided into 
4 degree 20 minutes almost is the value of one Saptamsha. But as you can see, to calculate the Saptamsha, the Rashi cannot be uniformly divided into seven divisions. It have to be ununiformly divided. But that ununiform division is basically not made. I am sometimes surprised that now astrology is being practiced for more than 10,000 years, but no one have looked at it. But you have to look at it. So what I have done, I basically use a different D7 chart that I have not taught up to this extent, but there is a forthcoming course on D7. We have not launched it yet, but this will be there in September. There I will teach you the chart. Traditionally, this is the calculation, traditional calculation I'm going to teach. For Navamsha, the Rashi of 30 degrees divided into nine parts and one part is three degree, 20 minutes each. In the same manner, to divide the Rashi into 10 parts, 30 degrees divided into 10, every degree is 3 minutes. To divide the Rashi into 12, divide 30 degree by 12, every degree will be every Dwadashamsha or one Dwadashamsha will be 2 degree 5 minutes. Right? This is the basic calculation for every divisional chart. So what is done first, you make a degree span. From this degree to this degree, planet is in first D9. From this degree to this degree, planet is in second D9. In one Rashi, there will be 9d9, maximum of 9d9 in the same matter. 0 degree to 3 degree is first d10, 3 degree to 6 degree is the second d10, 6 degree to 9 degree is the third d10, 9 plus 3, 9 degree to 12 degree will be the third, fourth, whatever d10, will be a d10. That is a basic calculation, right? That's the basic point. Now added to this comes the factor that, okay, there is a planet in 6 degrees. If it is 5.59, it is under 6 degrees. But if it is 6 or 6.1, it have gone from 6 degree to 9 degree. I believe. So you know that the planet is 6.01 degree. So it have gone into the third Dashamsha that is from 6 degree to 9 degree. Okay. But now, where should this planet fall? That's the basic question. Planet goes to third Dashamsha. And because I have invited Parashar students also. So normal astronomy and astrology students will get to learn something more, which was actually not planned for the course, but okay. Now the basic point is where does this fall? This falls in some Rashi. So basically what is there? There is a calculative method. When you calculate D2, one Rashi is divided into two portions. One first is ruled by sun, second is ruled by moon for an even Rashi, or for an odd Rashi. And first is ruled by moon, second is ruled by sun for an even Rashi. Now there is this mis misinterpretation right here. Rishi is clearly telling you that first part is ruled by sun. It is not being told that first part is ruled by Leo. In sun and Leo, there is a difference. The second part is ruled by moon. People assume it to be ruled by cancer. This is wrong. Right? Moon is not cancer. Cancer is not moon. This discrepancy is there. Hence, I told you there are differences of opinions, but I am teaching you what is normally done. How to calculate this D2 chart with Jagannath Hora shows you right. Basically meaning any planet going in Leo is basically ruled by sun and is not going into Leo. Any planet going into Cancer is basically ruled by moon and not going into cancer. This is how it should be understood. Right? This is the basic understanding method. But it is given to some Rashi. For D3, it is told that first D3 is the same Rashi, second D3 is fifth from the Rashi, third D3 is ninth from the Rashi. This is told. For D4, it is told first D4 is the same Rashi, second D4 is fourth from the Rashi, third D4 is seventh from the Rashi, uh, fourth D4 is tenth from the Rashi. Right? This method is there. This works well up to D12 when the Rashi is divided into 12 parts. So every planet goes to a different Rashi. What after D12? D16 onwards, Rashis will remain 12 only, but planets will keep on repeating. So what will happen D16 onwards, 
when one rashi is divided into 16 parts you say aris is divided into 16 parts what will happen four rashis will repeat four rashis will come twice when you divide aris into 16 parts 0 to 12 is every rashi coming again but 13 14 15 16 four rashis will repeat twice this remains okay up to d24 post d27 onwards rashi is divided rashi repeats three times post d30 onwards d40 d45 rashi is rashi is uh, repeat four times and in d60 one rashi repeat five times basically this rashi based division is wrong based on two particular reasons first of all because d12 onwards rashis are repeating more than once right for this particular reason so planet in two separate degrees can go to the same rashi when you look at these divisional charts this will seem to be a conjunction which in reality is not remind me this particular point i will come to it again when we talk of the when i give you the table just remind me this particular point so understanding a particular thing that technically speaking these 16 onwards looking at planetary conjunctions can be dubious However, one can argue that, sir, the makeup is as such. So that's why conjunction is happening. You should take it very seriously, sir, why you are being so uh, cruel about it. That you can say, that logic you can put, and sadly, I have to agree with that logic also. But this is not the way it should work. Right? Basically, this is... This is like you can say that, okay, sir, if in one Rashi, two planets at two different points of time, at two different degrees in a particular divisional chart, if they fall in Aries only, what is the problem you are ha having? This is made this way. So technically, I should say that there is no problem as such, but that will not be true. Secondarily, as it is very clear with the calculation of Hora itself, that the Lord of the division rather dt of the division because when i say lord you can confuse it with the rashi lord basically by lord i mean god use the better word dt dt is the most important factor when it comes to a particular divisional chart right dt becomes very very important this is clearly emphasized right from d2 itself but somehow we tend to ignore this point. Same thing happened with it. What happened with nakshatras? When I say you are Ashwini, you remember Ketu, you don't remember Ashwini Kumar. That's the only problem that you are having. This is why the level of Jyotish is not getting uplifted. And sadly, if it, rem if it remains this method itself, I have no hopes for the standard of Jyotish uplifting ever in future also. So this change, we have to be harbinger of this change and you have a lot of responsibility to bring this change. If you actually want to give a gift to those who have given you this gift of astrology using which you can make good decisions, you can become fortunate, you can become rich, you can become happy, many things you can do with the uses of astrology. And it have proved it worth from time to time, without any doubt. That's why astrology is being practiced now for more than 8,000, 9,000 years in the history of the world. If something is not working, it should vanish in 100 years itself. It is there. It serves many purposes. But we learn from the books of sages, what do we give them in return? I cannot give money to Parashar. I cannot give respect to Parashar. I can give nothing to Parashar. The only thing that I can do is to uphold the science that he made as it is and save it from further degradation and delusion. This is what you people need to do. However, coming back to my point. A Rashi is divided into a particular number as per the standard name that is written there. And that division generally is put into one Rashi. Which is shown in this T 
PDF. This PDF I will give you. Don't worry. The Varga and Divisional Chart Calculation PDF. You will get it. What does happen? Hora. D2, as I already told you, to make D2, one Rashi is divided into two parts. 0 degree to 15 degree in male Rashi is ruled by sun. 5 is written here. And second 15 degree to 30 degree in a male Rashi is ruled by moon. 4 is written here, which is then reversed for even signs. Right? This is the table. So technically what you can do, you can quickly use this table. You need two things, degree of planet and the Rashi it is situated in. And going horizontally and vertically, you will find the Rashi where the planet will be situated in, in the T2 chart. The Lord of the division ruled by Sun is God's Deva and the Lord of the division ruled by Moon is Pitra, see, Pitra ancestors. For the calculation of D3, one Rashi is divided into three parts. First part, 0 to 10. Second part, 10 to 20. Third part, 20 to 30. First part being ruled by Narad, Sage. Second part ruled by Agastya, another Sage. Third part ruled by Dhruvasa, the third sage. The Rashis are divided into first Grekana comes into the same Rashi. For Aries, it is Aries. For Taurus, it is Taurus. For Gemini, it is Gemini. Second Grekana comes into fifth from that sign. For Aries, it is Leo. For Taurus, it is Virgo. For Gemini, it is Libra. And the last Grekana comes to the ninth sign. For Aries, the ninth sign is Sagittarius for Taurus, the ninth sign is Capricorn. For Gemini, the ninth sign is Aquarius and so on and so forth. So what you are going to basically do, if I have to find the Drekkana of Moon in this particular horoscope, I will see Moon is having 24 degrees, 39 minutes. It falls into 20 degree to 30 degree section into the Rashi Leo. 20 degree to 30 degree section in the Rashi Leo Leo Rashi 20 degree to 30 degree section comes into 1. Moon should be in Aries D3. Check the D3 chart. Moon is in Aries, right? This is how the calculation is done. For D4, the Rashi is divided into four parts. First part, 0 degree to 7 degree, 30 minutes, ruled by Sanak. Second part, 7 degree, 30 minutes to 15 degrees, ruled by Sanandan. Third, 15 degree to 22 degree, 30 minutes, ruled by Kumar. And lastly, 22 degree, 30 minutes to 30 degrees, ruled by Sanak. Different planet in different Rashis. First, First D4 goes into the same sign. Second D4, fourth from the sign. Third D4, seventh from the sign. And fourth D4, tenth from the sign. This is how the calculation is made. Right? This is simple. Aquarius, same Rashi Aquarius, fourth from it Taurus, seventh from it Leo, tenth from it Scorpio. Hence the calculation. For D7, one Rashi is divided into seven parts. Even Rashi, Aries, Gemini, etc., Sorry, odd Rashi, Aries, Gemini, etc. D7 starts from the same Rashi. Even Rashi, Taurus, Cancer, etc. The D7 starts from the seventh Rashi. Taurus, seventh Rashi will be Scorpio. Hence, D7 starts as Scorpio and goes into the next seven Rashi. The degree division is as such. 0 degree to 4 degree, 17 minutes, 8 seconds, 5, 57 milliseconds is the first D7. And so on and so forth. The Lord of D7 being Char, Chir, Dadi, Aj, Ikshura, Samadhyaya and Suddhaja. Same goes with D9. For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, D9 starts with Leo. For Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, the D9 starts from Capricorn. For Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, the D9 starts from Libra. And for Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, the D9 starts from Cancer. This is how the calculation is done. A starting point is told. Next Rashis come into the next order for the next nine Rashis. The degree D is an F. 0 degree to 3 degree 20 minute. First Navamsha, 3 degree 20 minute to 6 degree 40 minute. Second Navamsha, 6 degree 40 minute to 10 degrees. Third Navamsha and so on and so forth. However, in Navamsha chart, there are not nine lots. There are three lots which repeat. Thrice. Deva, Nara, Rakshas, three lots repeat thrice. Deva means God, Nara means human, Rakshas means deep. 
they repeat thrice and d9 is the first divisional charge where the number of dt's are lesser than the number of division and the repetition of dt's fulfill the number of divisions which happen in many divisional charts as you will learn shortly after navamsha comes dashamsha where rashi is divided into three parts 10 parts 0 degree to 3 degree first part 3 degree to 6 degree second part 6 degree to 9 degree third part and so on and so forth you can use the table for the male rashi d10 starts from the same rashi for the female rashi d10 starts from ninth rashi from that female rashi now the shamsha is the first chart where the calculation is direct and reverse in odd rashi the lords are indra agni yama nirutti varun vayu kuber ishan padmaj and anant in the even rashi it is repeated in reverse order so first lord is anant second is padmaj third is ishan fourth is kuber fifth is vayu sixth is varun seventh is nirutti eighth is yama ninth is agni and tenth is indra so when repetition happens i have written odd degrees and even degrees Going further in Dwadashamsha D12 chart, one Rashi is divided into 12 portions 0 degree to 2 degree 30 minute first, 2 degree 30 minute to 5 degree second, 5 degree to 7 degree 30 minutes. Another Dwadashamsha starts from the same Rashi. Dwadashamsha starts from the same Rashi. For Aries, Dwadashamsha starts from Aries, for Taurus, it starts from Taurus, for Gemini, it starts from Gemini, and so on and so forth. The lords of Dwada Shamsha, there are four lords of Dwada Shamsha, Ganesh, Ashwini, Yama, Ahi, and in this order, they repeat three times to complete the 12. 4 into 3 is equal to 12. For, further than D12, Sod Shamsha in D16, for Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, D16 starts from Aries. For Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, D16 starts from Leo. And for Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, D16 starts from Sagittarius. Go into the order. 1D60 is having value of 1 degree 52 minutes 30 seconds. Second D6, D16, 1 degree 52 minutes 30 seconds to 3 degree 45 minutes. Third D60, 3 degree 45 minutes to 5 degree 37 minutes 30 seconds. This is the ending value that I have written. The Lord of the D16 is Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Surya that repeats. Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Surya, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Surya, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Surya. Four lots repeat four times, four into four answers into 16. So you have to find which D16 the moon goes into. You take the degrees of moon, 24 degree, 39 minutes in Leo. 24 degree, 39 minutes, basically 24 degree, 22 minutes, 30 seconds, this ends. So it is into the next division from 24, 22, 30 to 26, 15. This is into the Rashi of Leo, hence Virgo. In D16 is where moon should go. You can calculate the D16 to find that moon is in work. The same calculation is followed everywhere. This is how you create the divisional charts. And I have made an entry for all the degrees for from D2 to D16 in the PDF. I will glide you through it. And to both of you course students, I will also give you this PDF. This will be available on the Padmanabh website itself. Vim Shamsha or D20, our Rashi is divided into 20 parts. I cannot put it into one PPT, hence written part one part. One degree 30 minute is the span of one D20. In such way, 21 Rashi is divided into 20 parts for Aries Libra. Cancer and Capricorn, D20 starts from Aries. For Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, D20 starts from Sagittarius. And for Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces, D20 starts from Leo. A speciality with D20 is in D20, lots are different for odd Rashi and even Rashi. In, D, in D20, in odd Rashi, the lots are Kali, Gauri, Jaya, Lakshmi, Vijaya, Vimala, Sati, Tara, Jwala, Mukhi, Sweta, Lalita, Baglamki, Pratangira, Sachi. Rodri, Bhavani, Varda, Jaya, Tripura, Sumukhi. And in the even signs, the lords are Daya, Medha, Chinna, Sirsa, Pisachini, Bhumavati, Matangi, Bala, Bhadra, Aruna, Anala, Pingala, Chuchuka, Gora, Varahi, Vaishnavi, Sita, Bhuvaneshwari, Bhairavi, Mangala, and Aparajita. In, in the Parashar codes, D20 is something that we have to cover.
in the parashar course d20 is something that we have to cover along with along with d45 <clears throat> d40 d4 d24 and d27 and what i will do there is i will teach you the result of all of these different lords as i have done with d60 right but this is how it is made and as i have told you beforehand itself that the lords are the crux because you see now you see talking of d12 for aries cancer libra capricorn calculation starts from aries and by the time it covers the 12th d20 it comes to pisces again third in the 13th d20 aries is repeated in the 14th d20 taurus is repeated and rashi is from aries to scorpio comes twice right so if you see two planets in aries cancer libra capricorn in two different degrees but they are conjoined in d20 you can mistake them to be into a conjunction which will not be the reality and also there is one particular question that i generally want to ask there are 16 divisional charts and there are only 12 rashis so it can easily happen that one planet in all the 16 divisional charts is situated in all the 12 rashis and aries in d3 gemini in d4 sorry taurus in d4 gemini in 2d7 cancer in 2d9 and leo in 2d10 virgo in 2d12 libra in 2d16 scorpio in 2d20 sagittarius in d24 capricorn in d27 aquarius in 2d30 and a pisces into d40 now if you are going to tell result according to rashi all the results this planet is giving now right so this will become a problem you don't realize this problem because you logic that d20 is for spiritual progress d24 is for education only but this is a real problem forget that d24 is for education right so lords are most important is what i am going to tell you okay still D twenty four one Rashi is divided into twenty four parts. Each part having the well one part is one degree fifteen minutes. For the male Rashi's D twenty four starts from Leo, and for the female Rashi's the calculation of D twenty four starts from Cancer. In D twenty four once again, the lots are a little bit different. I have. done something with this d24 lords the lords of d24 that is technically taken by everyone and what i have written here is somehow different so from my experience and with my interpretation i have tweaked it a bit so be careful about <clears throat> sorry as i have told you my what what is a return of favor return of favor you cannot say my shram see one can serve his guru by money one can serve his guru by service or one can serve his guru by oh, i don't know what is the thing i i forgot it is by money by service or by something 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 so if i have learned something from parasha he becomes my guru now serving him with money that i can not do neither parasha wants money neither i can give him a paypal transfer now serving him by service is what i can do thirdly serving him by knowledge is what i can do right so keeping the system of parashar intact and if there is because parashar is a old guy from the time of vishnu puran he is there from vishnu puran up to 2022 there are many discrepancies that have been into the text of parashar this discrepancies was not intended by parashar but others made it because of their foolishness generally this happens foolish people are very confident 
So these discrepancies have came. So what I have done is I have tried to, to take those discrepancies out and present in front of you, the world. The real method, what Parashar wanted to put. And do I get a hallucination that this is the real method which Parashar wanted to put or what? Do I hallucinate that? This is the real method of Parashar. I can say with certainty because it works in practice when you look at horoscopes and predict them. Which gives me surety that this is the method which Parashar wanted to say. This is the thing which Parashar wanted to mean because then it matches with the result that Parashar have told that Parashar have given. However, coming to the list, the degree division is right here. In odd Rashi, the first D24 is Lord by Skand, second by Parshudhar, that is Parshura, third by Anal, fourth by Vishukarma, fifth by Bhaga, then Mitra, Maya, Antak, Vrishadvaj. Vrishadvaj basically means Nandi, the bull of Shiva. Next by Govinda, next by Madan, next by Bhim. And then this is repeated in the second time also. After D24 comes D27. 1 D27 is 1 degree 8 minute 40 seconds. What you see written here is the ending ending point, ending degree of that particular D27. In Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, D27 starts from Aries. Into Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, D24 starts from Cancer. Into Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, D27 starts from Libra. And into Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, D27 starts from Capricorn. This is same as D9. Just two values are repeated here. The Lord of the D27 are the Lord of the Nakshatras. Is what Parashar says. So what does it mean? The Lord of first D27 is Ketu. No, no. Parashar have clearly written. The Lord of the D27 is the Lord of the Nakshatras. Hence the Lord of first D27 is Ashwini. Second D27, Yama, the Lord of Bharmi. Third D27, Agni, the Lord of Kritika. Fourth D7, Brahma, the Lord of Rohini. Fifth D7, Chandra, the Lord of Brigashira. And so on and so forth, followed by Isha, Aditi, Jiva. Jiva is the name of Rispati. Ahi, that is the name for snake. Pitar for ancestors. Bhaga, Aryama, Surya. Tvashta, Marut, Shakragni. Shakra means Indra. So Indragni, Shakragni is the same thing. Mitra, Vasavaha. Vasavaha is a name for Indra again. Next by Rakshas, that is the name for Niritti. Next by Varun, next by Vishwedeva, next by Govinda, then by Vashu, then by Varun, then by Ajayakpath, then by Ahirbudan, then by Kushan. For by just to small hint, Ajayakpath is basically, Ajayakpath should be taken as Krishna. Ajayakpath, you don't know what is Ajayakpath, you don't find much thing on Ajayakpath. Ajayakpath is basically Krishna. And Ahirbudanya is a form of Shiva. So replace Ahirbudanya with Siva and Ajayakpad with Krishna will be my small one point advice. Other you know about. D30 is divided into five parts. You think that D30 should be divided into 30 parts. So say because it is the 30th division, it should be divided into 30 parts. There are many discrepancies on it. People have made another calculation of D30 as well. Neither I support that calculation. I don't support this calculation. I think that this particular calculation of one, D, one Rashi while making D30 being divided into five parts is normal. It should not be divided into 30 parts. Why? Because the degree division is uneven. I cannot say that one D30 is five degree. No. The D30 for every planet is different. The D30 ruled by Mars is 5 degree. The D30 ruled by Saturn is 5 degree. But the D30 ruled by Jupiter is 8 degrees. The D30 ruled by Mercury is 7 degrees. And the D30 ruled by Venus is 5 degrees again. 
and the same is repeated in reverse order in the female rashi where the first five degrees are ruled by sun ruled by venus next seven degrees ruled by mercury next eight degrees ruled by jupiter next five degrees ruled by saturn and the last five degrees ruled by mars just the reverse of what was being there in the odd rashi even rashi sorry odd rashi secondarily now this comes automatically that the d30 of mars in a male rashi belongs to the male sign of mars and aries and in a female rashi the d30 of mars belongs to the female rashi of mars that is scorpio the d30 of saturn in male sign belongs to male rashi of saturn aquarius in female rashi belongs to female rashi of saturn capricorn the d30 of jupiter in the male rashi goes to male rashi of jupiter sagittarius in the female rashi goes to female rashi of jupiter pisces the d30 lauded by mercury in the male sign goes to the male sign of mercury gemini in the female sign goes to female sign of mercury virgo and the d30 ruled by venus in male sign goes to the male sign of venus libra in female sign goes to the female sign of venus that is taurus so d30 despite the fact that d30 is a divisional chart that comes after d12 is a divisional chart where repetition is not happening it is a no repetition divisional chart this have some speciality this have some particular speciality if you see other sages except for parashar they have only used divisional charts up to d12 and if they have used any divisional chart except for d12 that is d30 and d60 and d60 for some reasons or the others the reason behind d30 i have explained the lord of the d30 ruled by mars is the elemental lord of mars agni the d30 lord of the lord of the d30 which is belonging to saturn is the elemental lord of saturn vayu saturn is a vayu element right jupiter is of akash element but the lord of jupiter indra is taken mercury is of earth element the lord kubera is taken but it is you can say it is lorded by kubera you can say it is lorded by prithvi either way the part of venus because venus is jala tattva this is ruled by jal or this is ruled by varun which is the what which is the lord of water so right jal means what venus is a water tattva planet going to the next divisional chart in d40 one rashi is divided into 45 minutes degree minute second one rashi is divided into 45 minutes hence the first d40 0 to 4, 0.45 second d40 0.45 to 1.30 and so on and so forth making the 40 degrees <clears throat> the lord of d40 is vishnu chandra marichi twashta dhata shiva ravi yama yakshesh gandharva yakshesh is basically ganesha gandharva kala varuna and post varuna vishnu repeats again now the lords for the odd rashi and the lords for the even rashi are different what is written this is the lord for the odd rashi this is the lord for the even rashi but i have written msc msc means modified shubham lordship so basically what is happening into this in the repetition of the order the order the lord that is traditionally taken is wrong the list is wrong hence for the lordship of d40 lords in the even rashi in the female rashi i have changed the lordship table throughout it as my research this is what i have seen working as this is a change in list that you see here and because you are my students it becomes my uh, ethical responsibility to teach you the method what i have found working rather than just teaching you what is being practiced there d45 one rashi is divided into 45 parts 
one part of 40 minutes, each part of 40 minutes. So first D45, 0 degree to 40 minutes, second D45, 40 degree to 1 degree, 20 minutes, and so on and so forth. For Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, the D40 starts from Aries. For Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, D45 starts from Leo. And for Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, the D45 starts from Sagittarius. The Lord of the D45 is Brahma, Shiva, Vishnu. In this order for movable Rashi, Shiva, Vishnu, Brahma in this order for fixed Rashi, and Vishnu, Brahma, Shiva in this order for dual Rashi. Now in the movable Rashi, Brahma is coming first. Hence, movable Rashis are Rajasik Rashi. Brahma is Rajasik. In fixed Rashi, Shiva is coming first. Shiva is Tamasik. Hence, fixed Rashis are Tamasik. And in dual Rashis, the first Lord is Vishnu. Vishnu is Sattvic. Hence, dual Rashis are Sattvic. You have to find, if you have more planets in dual Rashi, you have a Sattvic tendency, more planets in Movable Rashi, you have a Rajasic tendency, then more planet and fixed Rashi, you have a Tamasic tendency. This is why learning the manual calculation is important. You get those hints of interpretation that you don't get otherwise. Isn't it wise to learn it? In D60, one Rashi is divided into 60 parts, 30 minutes each. The Lord of D60 are different 60 Lords, which comes in the direct order, in the odd sign, reverse order, in the even sign. The Lords are Gora, Rakshas, Dev, Kuber, Yama, Kinnar, Prashd, Kulag, Nagaral, Agni, Maya, Purish, Abampadi, Marutwan, Kal, Ahi, Amrit, Chandra, Mridu, Komal, Heram, Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwar, Dev, Adra, Kalinash, Shitishwar, Kamalakar, Gulik, Mrityu, Kal, Davagni, Ghori, Yam, Kantak, Sudha Amrit Purna Chandra Vishdag Pulanash Vamshakche Upat Kal Somi Komal Sheetal Rushkaral Indumuk Praveen Kalagni Dandayut Nirmal Somi Krur Atishital Shudha Payodis Brahman and Indurika. These are the 60 lords. And many people think that the 60 is the most important divisional chart. Their thinking is not wrong somehow. But I have a question which divisional chart is non important? Basically, no divisional chart is non-important. Every divisional chart is very, very important. But still, Parashar specifically tells you Sastamshe Akhilamikshaye. That means from D60, everything needs to be seen. Rather, in simpler words, what D60 lets you look at is something that you cannot see otherwise. So this D60 have its own importance. Every D60 Lord have its uses and I have an article on that. Highly recommended this particular article D60 Sastiyam Devata that I have written in 2018. Post this article, many people have become D60 experts from 2018 onwards. So it is time for you to also become expert. In this article, what I have done is I have specifically written the result for every D60. Ghora means terrible. Whichever planet goes into the D60, which is owned by Ghora, basically 0 degree to 30 degree. Sorry, 0 degree to 0 degree 30 minutes in any Rashi is ruled by Ghora. The result for that planet is terrible. Rather, very terrible. This terrible does not mean good or bad. This basically means extreme. In the same manner, planet into uh, 0 degree 30 minutes to 1 degree, the planet is ruled by demon. So demonish tendencies, demonical tendencies of the planet come to fold. And if the dasha antar dasha of this planet is going on, my remark is bad. Hence, the dasha antar dasha tends to be bad. This you get into this article. But in this article, I have not done much hard work, to be very honest with you. I have just translated this Sanskrit word into Hindi. 
English, sir. But this translation is not accurate grammatically. This is accurate astrologically. So maybe grammatically it can mean something else, but grammar I'm not concerned with. I don't teach you grammar. I teach you Jyotish. This good bad remark is my personal. So when you read classics, you will see some D60 is written as bad. I have written it. Once again, from example, what is the most important is this last table. Last table. This last table gives you one word and the translation of that word. So first D60. What is the first D60? This one means first D60. That's why also you should know the calculation. However, you can easily do that. You go to Jagannath Hora. I will come to it. The planet in first D60 comes under the rulership of Ghora. That means terrible. The result of planet is terrible. In the Dasha Antar Dasha, the planet gives bad results also. Very good understood. But other than that, what this D60 gives? Adhyapakastu Veda Nam. This makes you teacher of the Vedas. It gives you eternal wisdom also. In modern parallels, teacher of advanced subject such as chemistry, engineering. It makes you knowledge in advanced subject. It gives you it's specifically for the purpose of profession. For the purpose of professional life, this is a list which you cannot miss because it gives you 60 different results which you don't find otherwise. And you know what I have done special? This shloka which tells you the result of D60 since the time the first book on BPHS was published in 1821 from that time up to the time of writing this article 2018, I am the first one to translate. And 2019 onwards, two books are published and now the same translation is copied. And that's not an issue. Why we are working? For the benefit of the world only. So that's very good. It's not an issue, right? But this is something that you cannot miss. And what I have done once again with my traditional method, the translation is not grammatically correct. The translation is astrologically correct. So Trinak means someone who is picking up grass. So I have translated it. Trina means grass, roots, herbs, and Trinak means one dealing with them. The translation should be one picking them. But I have added one dealing with them and I have then added in modern parallels, it can mean doctors, healers, beauty parlors, etc. Right? So this is what I have added extra. And this is something that you should not miss. And because it is available for free, why to miss? So this article you should refer to. And remember my point. I have given two, three examples also. Basically, I have written three set of articles on D60. There is this Sashti Amsha 60th Varga as well, where I have traditionally taught the uses of divisional charts, how it is traditionally used. And then there is this last article, Sashti Amsha Culmination. All three of them written in 2018 only. In the Sashti Amsha Culmination article, I have given an example of how to rectify horoscopes using D60. I have not given an example, but I think I have given, I don't know, or 2000, I forgot it. I have not given an example, but it works best. This is one of my major methods for D60 rectification. You should refer to all three of these articles. At least being my students, you should refer. Write all these three articles. You have given the example, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs example I have given. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Along with this, I have also talked about some of the very specific results. But this is my particular way of writing while putting commentary as well. So I have like in this particular line, I have put a commentary on the uses of D10 as well. Though D10 is not a part of this particular article, but I have put a comment on D10 as well. Along with this, I have also translated some of the very rare shlokas into it. Rare shlokas and 80% of the time, whenever I write something, 
I take a shloka and the translation is not the one which is found in the book, but the translation that is done by myself because I know some shloka. Right, and I have talked of many, many rare yogas into it as well, specifically 80% of the in complete of astrological corpus, every book of astrology, whatever it contains on divisional charts, 80% of that condensed you will find in these three articles. Go read it. Secondarily, one quick, quick technique I should teach you, like quick technique, any shortcut basically. So by now, you know the calculation of D60 as well. And you know how the, and you know about the D60 lords as well. Both these things you know about, very good. Now, you know what, this is 2022. And I think in 2022, more important than teaching how to calculate it, the more important part is to teach you how to check it in the software. <laughs> so let's also do that. Regarding the calculative Rashi, the Rashi that you find out by calculation, that Rashi you can easily find by calculating a particular divisional chart. Right. So you go to Jagannath Hura. If you want to find which planet occupies which Rashi in D60, you can just right click, make the D60 chart and it tells you that moon is situated in Virgo in D60. So you save the calculation. But moon is under the rulership of which DT? Into D60 to find that you go to basics, you go to Amsha rulers, right click, select D60. And you know that moon in D60 is into Praveena D60. It is in Praveena D60. And to check the result into this table, my table, you can just find the Praveena. Praveena means proficient and well-versed. So this gives you well, this makes you proficient, makes you proficient in what? Moon is the Lord of the fifth house into the sixth house. Fifth house indicates intelligence. So very intelligent and proficient, general proficient, well-versed. Also moon is in the sixth house. So proficient and well-versed in the matters of fight. Proficient and well-versed in dealing with diseases and weakness also. So the person can be chancellor, person can be advisor, person can be doctor, person can be scholar, person can be researcher and multiple things you can find out just using a simple article, two lines. Always remember, never forget the Rashi chart. The Rashi chart is the only chart. The Rashi chart, the calculation of the Rashi chart takes a lot of calculation. Hence, it is very important. Other divisional charts don't take that much. Secondarily, this Praveena is a good division, hence the Dasha Antar Dasha of this moon will be good as well. But here, when you have to find what is the result, how do you find it? Go back to Jagannath Hora, check the index. In index, in front of moon, 50 is written. Hence, read the result for number 50. It makes the person in Dhanhari dealing with fuels. So in the Mahadasha and Antardasha of moon, things related to fuels will happen. Fueling, refueling, sale and purchase of fuels, etc. will happen. For an example, if you want to know this result for Venus, remember that Venus index 9. So go to the list. Nine, the result is Daishika. It means one who is engaged in the profession of keeping records and forecasting such as astrologers, philosophers, self-help leaders, orators, etc. So Venus is making this person an astrologer. Venus Dasha Antra Dasha will come with good progress in astrology. And just simply use this article and can read a whole lot of D60 and can make a whole lot of predictions using D60 also. Right? And these are the 60 divisional charts and I am pretty sure that you are clear about how these different divisional charts are calculated, who are the lord of these different divisional charts and 
you're clear about the calculation and everything lord of the divisional chart in which rashi the planet will be situated in the divisional chart with the help of these particular tables you will have to do nothing 